Good afternoon, everyone. Jason here. Today is June 1st, and this is your aftermarket update. So we had a good day here at the Oil Trading Group. I'm going to go through a 3 to 1 risk reward CL trade that we had here today. Uh, you can see here, though, if you look at the price ladders, that uh, I'm only up 20 ticks instead of 30 ticks. I did have a losing CL trade here today, uh, but I did have a nice 3.5 point one lot uh, ES winner today. So we had a nice day here. Uh, all the way around. I'm going to start with this uh, ES trade. Uh, you're not. I'm not going to show you the video on this. We're just going to kind of talk through this, what we were looking for here today. Uh, we ended up getting short a couple of times right here around this uh, 27.16.50. And if you were in the room with us today, you know that we were hanging on for this target down here at 27.07 half. And so we got short a couple of times, got stopped out of break even, came back, got stopped out of break even. And then uh, it was on this move here that we ended up getting the three and a half point move. Uh, this came down to 27, 11 half, came back up here right into that same area that we were looking for. And then eventually finally sold off for the nine point trade uh, on the ES that we were actually uh, trying to get to. So a little bit of a bummer that we didn't quite get all of that. But what, what is really cool here is you can see how these support resistance levels uh, really showed you uh, the way here today. And again, if you're looking at these patterns, blue, yellow, red, red, yellow, blue. These are longs. The blue, yellow, red pattern short. These are longs right down here against this res, uh, support area. You had a blue, uh, sorry, you had a red, yellow. Uh, and then what you would be looking for is this bar to turn blue, but really you'd be getting in one tick above the bar. So uh, even though it was a yellow bar, it was still a valid entry point, And that took you all the way back up uh, to 2716 again as the day has been kind of rotating around as you came up into this resistance area here this was the first time that you got the short pattern blue yellow red mark it right into that uh, resistance area up above you and it was ended up being this ended up being a decent opportunity as well as it comes on down so again we didn't trade all these opportunities today I took the uh, one uh, three and a half point winner on the ES the trade that I took here on the CL this morning actually was right against the open. So if you come back here today and you look at, uh, let's come back here into the open. I'll tell you why we did what we did. Uh, we were right here, right around this area right here. All right, so it was actually right before the open. We got into this trade. Uh, you're going to see the blue, yellow, and then again, we were looking at this red area. We had done the calculation and knew where the daily structure signal is going to be forming up. Uh, we were actually, I was trying to target, you'll see me target, or I'll say the target is 99, and because of a, really, I just kind of transposed the numbers. I end up out at 09 for 30 ticks. It would have been a 40 tick uh, first trade of the day as the market did come all the way down to your daily structure target. And so, again, market maker level structure signal. I'll turn this off for a second, these overnight levels for just, whoops, I've turned off. Yeah, turned off those overnight levels. And you can see right here where the market was just kind of rotational rotation. We get right to the open, and it unhooks all the way down to your structure target. That's the cool thing about that. And then as the market kind of goes through, today was crude oil inventory report because of the holiday on Thursday. Market comes right up into our structure midpoint. Blue, yellow, red as a potential signal. Gave you an opportunity here, 67.95. Gave you a chance to get safe for at least 10 ticks. Uh, market kind of rotates around and then Again, gives you a, this is an opportunity here. It's not against the support resistance level, so you wouldn't necessarily take that. But the second opportunity here, blue, yellow, red, would be a second wave entry. And then the market just really is uh, been selling off and kind of rotating around. So anyway, I'm going to show you the uh, three to one, what should have been four to one uh, OTG trade of the day here in just a second. So again, just to, to, to recap, uh, we did get into a short uh, we were looking, the short was 39, you'll see that uh, on the video here, and I was trying to hold on for to 99, which the market ultimately comes all the way down to 63, uh, but I accidentally mistransposed or transposed the numbers, I guess, and got myself out at 09. So I was talking about 99 being the target, I ended up out at 09 for 30 ticks. Not complaining, uh, but it could have been a 4 to 1 risk reward trade. Anyway, what my purpose of the video here on these videos is to show you that it is possible uh, to hang on for these bigger targets and they do offset. So if you had three 10 tick losers and one 30 tick winner, right, then you would be still be okay with a very low winning percentage. And again, if you know anything about what we teach here, we talk to you about uh, maintaining your average risk reward of at least two and a half to one. We try to go for three to one or greater on our CL trade. So I'm going to stop talking now 
and I'm going to let you watch this OTG and WTR trade of the day. All right, here we go. 39 short, 39 short. 39 short stop will be 49. Target is 0, 0. I'm in at 39 short. Target 0, 0. Target is 0, 0 underneath you here. We're going to see if we got the right idea to start here this morning. So if we come down to 27 and can't get through it, that'll be break even. Swing is 47, 48. And you've got do have a line of liquidity. Okay, we got to get down through. 27 is the low of the day. And we are now about a minute and a half away from the open. I'm going to be looking at 0, 0 as the target. There's 34, 33. Let's see if we can get through. You do have a line of liquidity down here at 32. 49 is the stop. We got to get down through the line of liquidity at 33, 32. And then you've got a line of liquidity protecting the low at 27. 26 actually is where that line of liquidity. So 32 and 26 are the lines of liquidity underneath you here. Zero, zero is where we're going to be reaching out for the target here today. I'm in short from 39. I've got a stop at 49. I've got a target at zero, zero. That is almost four to one. You could probably bring that target down to... 99 just to make it a nice symmetrical four to one risk reward ratio and you've got about 45 seconds here till the bottom of the or the top of the hour in the open here and then we'll see right got to get down through 33 32 48 is the recent swing up 25 seconds left here. See if we can get this thing to pop through for us here this morning. There's the touch of 32. You're right here at the open now. Let's bring the trail stop to break even. There's 24, 23, 23, 22, low at 21, stop. Target is 99 here. So there's 17. Bring the trail stop here to 34. 34 on the trail stop. Target 99. You got a little bit of liquidity down underneath you around 10. And so, oh yeah, it took me out at 07. Sorry, 09. I actually had 09 as my target. Sorry about that. I thought it had it at 99. I'm, anyway, I'm out for 30 ticks.